Good morning, children. Hope all are doing good. So today we are going to begin with a new lesson that is working with Microsoft Excel. Okay, so last year you have learned about Microsoft Excel. So let us see how do we open Excel. So to, to begin with, we are going to click on Start button. And Start button, we are going to uh, select Office applications, Microsoft Office applications. Okay, let us see how to begin with Microsoft Excel. How do we start a Microsoft Excel worksheet? Okay, for this we are going to click on Start button. Okay, once you click on Start button, you're going to scroll down towards Microsoft Office applications. Okay, you have Office here. In Office, you're going to select Microsoft Excel. So once you click on Microsoft Excel, you have option of new blank workbook okay so select new blank workbook the microsoft excel application will begin so this is your microsoft excel workbook this is also called as spreadsheet so let us quickly see the interface of the microsoft excel worksheet okay so to begin with the first line here this is called as the title bar okay and the title bar indicates the name of the file it tells you the name of the file then on the left hand side you can see here this is called as the quick access toolbar in quick access toolbar that is on the left hand side top corner so quick access toolbar is not has many tools which we frequently use that is save undo redo and print options this quick access toolbar is always customizable that means you can keep adding the tools or you can remove the tools that you don't want see here just click on this so you can add new save open email quick print so these are the options that you can include in your quick access toolbar and now that is ticked that is save undo and redo these are the options which is already there say for example i want to add a quick print button i'll just say uh, select this so i can see a quick print option here so that means i keep on printing very frequently so i can just use this print option from a quick access toolbar then coming to ribbon see this complete set of tools that you see here is called as the ribbon okay the ribbon is a place where all the tools are put together so this is the ribbon then coming to a b c d e f g h you can see so many alphabets here okay and just along with the alphabet you can see lines here so these are called as the columns okay these are called as the columns see here just select this so this is a column select this so this is another column okay so what how do i call this column so this is column d that means d is the column heading now a is this column heading so this alphabets a b c d e f g h they are called as the column headings okay then coming to left hand side you can see numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on it continues so this is called row this is the first row this is the fourth row this is the 10th row this is the 18th row and this is the 25th row so it continues like this so this what numbers here are called as the row headings it is called row headings so this is about the column and the row now there are so many columns and so many rows now you can see there's a green box which is highlighted here okay this is nothing but the intersection of a column and a row this is called as the cell it is called as cell the intersection of row and column is called as cell see i can just click the mouse with the mouse wherever i click the cell keeps moving that means there is a cell which is getting highlighted along with my mouse correct so this cell which is highlighted with a dark green border is called as the active cell it is called as active cell so what is this how do we know which cell is active 
this active cell, there should be something, uh, some unique thing about this active cell, right? What is unique about the active cell? Correct. So any data can be entered only in the active cell. Say for example, I want to enter some data in this active cell, then I can just type it. So for example, student. So now whatever data I have typed will appear only in the active cell. And once the cell is changed, whatever data I want to enter, I enter now whatever input I give using my keyboard goes to the next active cell. Okay. Same thing, if this becomes my active cell again, then I want to enter something continue with the student. I want to enter the name. It is only student now. I want to change it to student name. Then I will go to formula bar. So this is called as the formula bar. Just click on the formula bar and start typing. Give the input from your keyboard to so your formula bar will take the input from the keyboard okay so now whatever changes you have made that appears only in the active cell okay now which is the active cell is this the active cell or this the active cell whichever is highlighted with dark green is the active cell and this active cell has a unique representation okay that is called as name box okay so this is in the d column and the row number is seven so this is d7 and this d7 is represented here this is called as the name box okay children so this is called as the name box so this is about the basic interface of the excel spreadsheet and there's one more thing that here on the right hand side you can see a scroll bar here Okay, this is called as the vertical scroll bar. Using this vertical scroll bar, I can scroll up and down in the sheet. And using this scroll bar here at the bottom, I can scroll between from left to right of the sheet. This is called as horizontal scroll bar. Then at the bottom, you have sheet option. So just click on the plus icon here. A new worksheet will be added. So this is the working with, this is the basic interface of the Excel spreadsheet. So next thing we would go, uh, we would learn about the backstage view. So just click on the file option here. So this is called as the backstage view. In backstage view, we have home option, new, open, info, save, save as, print, share, export, publish, close. So these are the basic options that you have in the backstage view. Going back to the spreadsheet, click on the back arrow here. We are back with the Excel spreadsheet. Yes. Another unique feature of um, Microsoft Office application is that tell me what you want to do option. So this is a new feature that has been introduced in the latest versions of Microsoft Office. So here you can just appear just directly, just you want to do any operation on the Excel worksheet, then you just type there, it will help you. It will directly do the um, operation for you. So let us begin with the first topic that is inserting a row and a column and also deleting a row and a column. Let us see how do we do that. Okay, so we have a table which is already ready. Okay, I have created a spreadsheet for you, student detail spreadsheet. Okay, so let us see how do we insert a row first. Okay, say for example, I want a row to be inserted between Aradhya and Brihant. There is one more new student who has come. Maybe his name is Ayush. Okay, so I want to insert Ayush between Aradhya and Brihant. How do I do that? Now I will select, I will keep my cursor here. So now let us see how to insert a row. Okay, to insert a new row, let's say for example, there is a new student whose name is um, say Ayush. Now I want to insert Ayush between Aradhya and Brihan. That is row number one and row number two. So now I want to insert Ayush here. So how do I do that? 
can I insert a new row? Yes, I can definitely insert a new row. How do I do that? So I will go to, in the home tab, I'm going to select cells group. So I'm in the cells group. So I'm going to click on insert option here. When I click on insert option, you have insert cells or insert rows or insert columns. So I'm going to insert row. Before I do that, where I want to insert, see, between these two, between one and two. So I'm going to keep active cell on two. So now I'm going to insert row. See, a new row is inserted between Aradhya and Brihant. Now, whatever options I want to type, whatever name I want to type, I can type here. So this is how I insert a new cell. Now, let me enter for enter the data for uh, Ayush. So maybe his his new his roll number will be nine. Then one zero zero nine will be his uh, student ID number, and his name will be. Ayush, he's in grade six. Then A section. And his percentage, we can give him 87%. Okay, so this is his percentage. This is how we can insert a new row. Now, can I insert a column? Yes, I can definitely insert a column between any two columns that is already existing. Same. For example, I want to insert a column between this section and marks percentage. So I will hold my active cell here. Then I will go to home tab. In the home tab, I will go to cells group. In the cells group, I have insert again. In the insert, I will select column. Okay, so now my new column is inserted between the section and the marks percentage. So here I can enter my data comfortably. So what data shall I uh, enter? I will put whether boy or girl, okay? So let us put gender. So Aradhya is a female. Ayush, male. Brihant, male. Manish, male. Shil, male, Seema, female, Parinita, female, Pritam, male, and Rhea, female. So this is how I can insert a new row and a new column. A quick recap, a quick glance. So in the home tab, we are going to select cells group. In the cells group, we have insert option. In insert option, we can insert a new cell, we can insert a new row, and we can insert a new column, and we can insert, even insert a new worksheet. We are working in sheet number two now. I want to insert a new sheet. I'll just click on new worksheet. A new worksheet, sheet number three is inserted, okay? So this is how a new uh, insert option works. Okay, 